I have said this thousand times and will repeat myself again. Shifters in sim racing are not necessary equipment at all, but for some like me, they bring the experience to the next level and make driving so much more engaging. I'm a huge fan of manual shifting and as the car industry is going to hell with the electric revolution, I already feel bad for the future generations. Fortunately, we are sim racers and in that hobby we can do whatever we wish, even drive super advanced cars with manual shifting just because it's fun and engaging. As a huge shifter fan, I'm happy to see few companies try to keep that part of the hobby alive and I already have few new models for further tests and presentations. So, let me introduce you the... Hoisingwelt comes with some innovative ideas in their mag shift and as the name suggests, they are using strong magnets for resistance. Now, that mechanism creates totally different feeling from anything I have experienced till now in sim and real world. Because I have to stay as objective as possible, I won't be positive or negative about that patented innovation, but we'll try to quickly explain the difference in feeling between traditional sequential shifter and this magnetic one. In most of the shifters with some kind of gear mechanism inside, the handle have progressive resistance till pass that threshold and make the click which gives the feeling of slot engagement. In some high-end shifters, that engagement is very strong which makes them noisy. If you got the idea, as the mag shift use magnets, we pull to separate them with certain torque and then the handle move and engage the next gear. Those two feelings are radically different. The closest example I can give is if you press a button on your wheel, you can feel the progressive resistance till past that threshold and click. However, when you pull the magnetic shifter, the magnets detached without any movement before the torque threshold. Those indeed are two very different experiences and which is better will be absolutely subjective and I am sure some will prefer the traditional ones and some the magnetic. Subjectively speaking, I personally prefer the mechanical feel of traditional gear mechanism which feels more natural in my hands and bit more engaging. In this one, the disengagement of the magnets is not enough to give me that feeling of moving gear into the next slot. However, that is subjective and I know some people will feel the opposite of me. My goal is to set proper expectations and not selling my own opinion. One cool feature here which I see first time is the independent adjustment of each direction. Moving the bottom bolts closer or further from the core, we can make the resistance stronger or weaker. That means we can set stronger upshifting and weaker downshifting or reverse. And with the top slot, we can adjust the total strength. To be honest, for my personal taste, the hardest settings are the minimum I like from a shifter, but that makes it equally noisy with the gear shifters I have around. So, if you want to keep it more on the silent side, you can sacrifice a bit of the strength. And talking about noise, let's be real. Every shifter is loud if there will be sufficient resistance, which is absolutely necessary for the fun experience, as they are attached to the rig and transfer the equish noise even further. If noise is your concern, proper sequential shifter is not for you. They are all probably twice louder than will with magnetic shifters. However, I believe here is missed opportunity as there is a chance to dampen the sound as some do with rubber on some magnetic shifters. 
here the noise comes from hitting the end of the opposite direction not from gear mechanism the aesthetics are up to you and your taste but what i like a lot is the compact design which helps a lot with the limited space we have on our rigs particularly pairing it with some handbrake one very very smart solution which impressed me a lot is how it's simple and compact bracket we can adjust the height the angle and the axis position that is something i truly appreciate those fine adjustments have always big impact for my personal comfort and they manage to keep it so compact as a bonus with the shifter we get trip buttons which looks very basic and i would personally prefer to have some rgb lights and be able to personalize them a bit but again that is subjective and I'm sure some of you will appreciate more the simplicity of those. The fun part is with the smart control we can have multiple inputs from each button and even from the gears. They can be mapped as single press and continuous and we can adjust the timing for the second input activation. So. It looks like we have sequential shifter with mini button box on single USB. Build quality looks good, something to be expected from that company and Heusingveld are well known with their excellent customer services. We should be aware, there is always chance for things to go wrong and filthy products can come from every company out there but the difference is how they deal with it. My first purchase from them many years ago was the Pro pedals and one of them didn't work. I explain with single email the issue and ask for PCB board or load cell replacement. They ask for address and two days later I received entire clutch pedal and new board. No weird questions or endless conversations. Really impressive. So price is hefty at 441 after V80 and bit above of the competition but in general most shifters on the market are quite expensive and my guess is because not many out there are looking for that particular experience and the market for those is very tight. Nevertheless is innovative idea with slight difference in feeling and I'm sure will make some enthusiasts happy. <laughs>